Last year, March, the 39th former president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, announced that he no longer needed any more treatment for his brain tumor, as his doctors saw no signs of tumors for a period of three months. President Carter's remarkable success against brain tumor is due to a groundbreaking new kind of cancer treatment called immunotherapy. Instead of targeting cancer cells directly, immunotherapy stimulates the body's immune system to fight cancer cells. In recent years, immunotherapy has become a focus area for researchers, clinicians, and pharmaceutical companies, as it is set to transform the future of cancer treatment. Now, joining us in Washington, D.C., Danica Young. Good evening, Danica. Good evening, Peter. So please, Danica, tell us more about this subject. Thank you, Peter. Not only President Carter's story, immunotherapy made headlines in 2016 when it was revealed that Australian rules footballer Jared Ruff had responded well to immunotherapy as researchers worldwide race to complete clinical trials before immunomodulatory regimens are made available to the public. There is an oral medicine agent demonstrating capabilities of immunomodulating and anti-neoplastic activities, codenamed THL-P, that have fulfilled two clinical trials, one for metastatic breast cancer and the other for nasopharyngeal cancer. According to the U.S. National Cancer Institute's Drug Dictionary, THL-P agent, which stands for Tian Shun Liquid Practical, is an oral liquid with potential ability to modulate the activity of natural killer NK cells, cytotoxic T lymphocyte CTLS, macrophages, and polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Very well, Danica. Can you tell us more about the clinical trial of THL? Absolutely, Peter. The first clinical trial on metastatic breast cancer was conducted at National Taiwan University Hospital by Wen Hung Kuo's team in 2011. This randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial measures changes in the patient's global health status (PHS) and immunomodulating effects amongst two groups, THL group and placebo group. The result shows that the THL group had significant improvement in quality of life and lymphocytes level compared to the placebo group. The quality of life improvement includes higher level of role, emotional and cognitive functioning, while the improvement of lymphocytes level includes higher CDC, CD4-, CD8, and CD19. The trial concluded that THL is a safe adjuvant treatment for patients with refractory metastatic breast cancer. That's great news. Is there any other pharmacological functions of THL against cancer? Yes. The research of this groundbreaking immunomodulating agent, so-called THL, has made so far 25 published international research. Here in the U.S. National Library of Medicine, PubMed.gov, there are nine registered research on THL. In June 2016, there were three newly published research papers of THL in the same month. The first regarding anti-cancer immunity. The second on the effect of THL on human colorectal carcinoma. And the third about the induction of G2-M cycle arrest by THL. Peter, if I can summarize. There are three other main pharmacological functions of THL, aside from immunomodulation. Based on these three latest research, first, suppression of tumor growth. THL is able to upregulate the negative cell cycle regulator P21, which promotes anti-proliferative activities of cancer cells. Every immunologist understands that protein P21 plays an important role in suppressing tumor by promoting cell cycle arrest. Second, promotion of radiosensitizing effect in cancer cells and clinical radiation therapy. Low radio sensitivity caused by radiation resistance of cancer stem cells can contribute to treatment failure. Research on THL demonstrates its ability to dose dependently downregulate DNMT1, which in turn will increase the radio sensitizing effect in cancer cells, especially in MCF-7 human breast cancer cells. Third, reduction of cancer invasion and metastasis. 
THL was demonstrated to downregulate enzyme matrix metalloproteinase, MMP-1, which is responsible for metastasis of cancer cells, especially human colorectal carcinoma. Back to you, Peter. Thank you, Danica. So what does this all mean for the future of cancer treatment? Well, Peter, here in the U.S., the conventional cancer treatment known today, such as chemotherapy and radiation, have been slowly left behind in favor of a safer, more effective treatment, such as immunotherapy. Proven immunomodulator agent, such as THL, with its extensive research on its anti-cancer activities, will play a greater part in the future of cancer treatment. We all look forward to a brighter future, a safe and effective treatment for all cancer patients. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Danica. And that's all I have for you today from New York. I'll see you next time on the next Special Report. Good evening.